son of a... Back by popular demand, my brother Earl is back from his long vacation camping in my backyard. <laughs> Alright, Earl, so you believe in evolution. <laughs> yeah, I'm not stupid. I believe that 8 million species of super complex creatures came from... nothing. <clears throat> mm hmm Let's discuss the evolution of... Oh, wait a minute, don't tell me that you believe in the Bible, which was written by a bunch of stupid camel riders over 2,000 years ago, do you? <laughs> You mean the same camel riders who built the pyramids by hand with mathematical perfection? Hey look, it's Putin's fault. <laughs> Putin, you little rascal. <laughs> I our cars family. Sound off in the comments below if you want to see more of my brother Earl in these little mini series. All right boys, let's take a look at some articles together. Some quick news bits for you before we get off to the meat of this. Then I'm going to ask for your help in specking my S650 because ultimately this is your channel and I basically work for you. You're like my employers. So since I work for you, please watch my full videos. Please watch each ad for 30 seconds. Please like, share, and comment. And please shop my Amazon storefront which has some awesome unique products for car guys and gals. You guys are like the most epic bosses I've ever had. Ah. Uh... Yeah. All right, boys, according to AutoEvolution.com, a good site, check them out, link in the description below, Ford is issuing its fifth recall this month. This is for 2.9 million vehicles. It's related to gearboxes not properly working, resulting in the car not moving in the direction set by the driver, but following its own path. Kind of like Biden, who promised to be everyone's president, but then veered so far left, he now only cares about pushing drag queen story hour on our kindergartners. Okay, maybe that part was added by me, but if that comment upset you, go check your bathroom mirror. It may be snowing. Anyway, the problem can even continue after parking the vehicle. Shifting into park without activating the parking brake might allow the vehicle to roll unintentionally, which could kill someone, so get it fixed if you have one of the following vehicles. A 2013 to 2019 Escape, 2013 to 2018 C-Max, 2013 to 2016 Fusion, 2013 to 2021 Transit Connect, or 2015 to 2018 Edge. So if you have one of those vehicles, call up your Ford Center and get it fixed ASAP. I heard it's actually a pretty quick and easy fix. The Mach-E has several recalls right now. One of them just announced yesterday is related to overheating batteries. I've been trying to get my wife's Mach-E's multiple recalls sorted out, but I'm not having success getting an appointment after several months. Lazy dealer? Maybe. Stay tuned. So this is the fifth recall Ford has issued this month alone, and like everything else, it's probably Putin's fault. In other news, it looks like the 2023 Ford Raptor R is confirmed to be getting a new beefed up 10-speed automatic gearbox, which should be better than the GT500 gearbox previously rumored to be used. The 10-speed should be more fitted to truck stuff like towing, and well, it's Raptor, so like racing and jumping and stuff. I will never forget seeing the huge Raptor jumping ramps when I went out to Utah and attended Ford's racing school for the GT350. That was one of the best experiences of my life, by the way. I do have a video up of the instructor scaring that life out of me, by the way, only demonstrating about 70% of what the GT350 can do on track. I'll link it to the end of this video. Ford benchmarked the 10-speed gearbox against the Chevy Camaro ZL1, which also has a 10-speed as it was co-developed between Ford and GM. By the way, isn't that like Burger King and McDonald's getting together and designing the next beef patty? Ford Authority, a solid source of intel and a source I trust, reports, and the link is below, that the Raptor R's 10-speed has also been fitted with a new 260mm torque converter with a heavy-duty turbine damper, as well as a heavy-duty rear output assembly featuring PTFE washers and a four-pinion gear carrier, all designed to help the gearbox handle the Raptor R's massive 750 or so horsepower. Some people are commenting they're not looking forward to paying the $20,000 to $30,000 markup, to which I say let's all exercise some patience here and use the force. I mean use the force of supply and demand. Don't pay any markup and the markup will go away within a few months. I promise you. If there's no demand, the first lever that the dealers are going to pull is pricing to move the product. I mean you stop buying and they're going to drop their pants faster than Pete Buttigieg. Look, it's a comedy channel. Get over it. We don't take ourselves too seriously here. Actually, we don't take ourselves seriously at all and you shouldn't either because we're idiots here at Rated R Cars. Y'all know Earl be twerking, boy! Yeah! You know that by now. Who's an idiot? This guy. Boot Buttigieg. Buttigieg. Boot Buda Budapest. But whatever his name is, you know who you are. Peter. Anyway, supply and demand works for everything from cereal to grocery store to anti flatulence medicine. <laughs> <Woo>. <coughs> Everyone, stop paying markup right now. I am looking for a dealer who will let me reserve an S650 early and at no markup. Say a prayer for me. And speaking of prayers, Ford 
Authority reports that the last S550, the 2023 model, will have its order banks open in September of this year. So if you're afraid of this and you want the sleeker looking S550, if these leaked images are true, here's your last chance to order one for all of eternity and be the envy of your neighborhood. At least until you do a cold start. Get your speed dial ready for September 19th, 2022. That's when the order banks are going to open up, according to FordAuthority.com sources. So on my S650, I need some help from the Rated R Cars family. Here are the options I chose on my 2018 Mustang GT. Firstly, I got the premium model. I got it in shadow black. I do plan on murdering out the S650. As I've said, I had my own vinyl racing stripes put on my 2018, just like I did with my GT350. I got the 401A package with the showstopper red heated and cooled leather seats, which were gorgeous, except for the vinyl back seats. I mean, seriously, Ford, for the $50,000 you charged me for this admittedly sexy beast, you couldn't staple half a cow's butt cheek on my back seat and be done with it? No! Final. Anyway, I got the MT82, the GT Performance Package, for about 4,000 bucks, and Magnaride for about 1,700 bucks, so about $8,000 in options. So it was pretty much fully loaded, and man, did I love that car. But for my S650, which I will God willing get for the channel, I need to make a lot of content. So I'm thinking maybe just get like the base level, I'm talking cloth seats, etc., very base model Mustang GT, and then mod it for content. With the only exception being like the updated console and the interior lighting and all that gadgetry. Hey, I'm a sucker for technology. So I'd want a mod for suspension, power, aerodynamics, cosmetics, such as the racing stripes. I'll get bolt-ons, do a power adder once I confirm that the platform can handle it, and basically the whole nine yards to keep the S650 content coming for those of you who are interested in it. The only other thing I guess I should order is the Magna Ride, because I think it makes most sense to get that OEM. I do prefer manuals, as you guys know. I like to roll my own gears, but if they come up with some sort of newfangled or updated 10R80 that you guys are interested in, and it's substantially faster than the manual, then I'll probably go that route. Let me know what you guys think. I am getting excited just thinking about the S650 boys, and I know you are too. I just hope it does come out looking better than this. But anyway, please share your thoughts below. How should I spec out my S650? Any thoughts on the recalls? Any of you Democrats want to slap me around in the comments? Open the floodgates below, and always remember the motto, always be kinder than necessary. I'll see you in the next one. Y'all know Earl be twerking, boy! Yeah!